Welcome to the Relax Into Love podcast, the place for spiritual, ambitious women to awaken to divine connection within themselves and their partner and manifest their most desired relationship with joy and ease. I'm Teal Elizabeth, your host, a spiritual love and relationship coach trained in the principles of feminine energy, NLP, and deep subconscious reprogramming. And through this podcast, it is my desire to inspire you on all things dating, relationships, and self-love. Now, on to the show. Hey, ladies. I wanted to come on to do another little quick mini training for you. Um, And I want to talk today about the number one thing that I did that dramatically changes change the direction of my love life. Um, And I think that this is a really fun, important concept to talk about because if you have ever been in this place of feeling like you're just in this cycle or this pattern that's just running into a wall, running into a wall, not able to actually get that traction that you want to get you to that place where all the happy couples are, yourself included, then this is really going to, I think, speak home for you and hit home for you today. Um, And, you know, I too have very much been in that place when I was first dating, when I was first getting out there and testing out the whole dating world, I found myself in a pattern for over eight years. And I call it the hook and fizzle, right? And I've talked about this in many other videos, but there was this this pattern that I just got stuck in. And I felt like no matter what I did or no matter how I acted, I could not find a way to, to connect into a man's heart. And to truly have him see me as the beautiful, radiant woman that I really was. And it frustrated the heck out of me, right? Because all my friends and family saw it. They saw me as this beautiful, incredible, ambitious woman. But for some reason, men didn't see it. And no matter how many men I talked to or connected to or even tried to date in the beginning, things always just seemed to fizzle out. And it frustrated me to say, why is it that I can't actually have that partner? Why can't I have that beautiful, loving relationship, right? So let's talk about the number one thing that I did that dramatically shifted my relationship with men and attracted my beautiful sweetheart fiance. Um, So to kind of like illustrate this concept of what really happened and the the huge shift that happened, I want to talk about two different characters. The first one I want you to think about is I want you to think about what is the first word that comes to your mind when I say the word Angelina Jolie? What do you think about when you think about Angelina Jolie? And you can go ahead and write in the comment box um, because I would love to hear some of these thoughts about what it is that you really think of. What I always think of when I think of Angelina Jolie is, well, first, sexy as hell, right? (laughs) God damn, she's gorgeous. (laughs) But besides that, she has a really beautiful inner essence, right? She has this, first of all, this just inner confidence, this inner knowing that she is powerful, that she is beautiful, that she is radiant, that she is strong, that she is badass, right? It's a very much almost like a feeling of a very queen-like, regal, essence, right? And um, to really illustrate this point, I would say if you've watched the movie The Tourist with Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie, she ex- like exhibits this, this character perfectly. And if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it to either just watch the trailer or watch the full movie and you'll really get a sense of this character identity, right? She, she just has this grace and this poise and this just inner just glow about her and she knows it and she doesn't have to show it. She doesn't have to prove it. She just is. She just, ooh, just walks into the room with just this, ah, hello, here I am, right? And it's magnetic AF. (laughs) I never usually use that term, but this is, this is, uh, it feels like a time to apply it. She's magnetic as fuck, right? So that's the kind of essence that to me makes the huge shift that I had to realize that I needed to click into. I needed to click into that kind of essence in myself to be able to really start to shift the way that men saw me and the way that I saw myself, okay? So then in contrast, I want you to think about what is the one word that comes to your mind when you think about Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City, (laughs) right? Carrie Bradshaw. So I want you to take a second to think, write in the comments, What comes to mind when you think of Carrie Bradshaw? For me, I think of, first off, (laughs) high-strung, crazy in her head, overanalyzing everything, ditzy, kind of annoying, right? 
But she's got this kind of like fun, independent, sassy style to her too. She's not totally like a damsel in distress or like a ditzy Barbie doll. Um, but she's very much the opposite of Angelina Jolie, right? If you put those two side by side, she's chasing after men. She's always messing things up with men by saying too much or just blurting out her feelings or just like doing way too much. And it's just, she's just a train wreck, <laughs> right? So when you think about Carrie Bradshaw and this kind of character essence versus the Angelina Jolie essence, these are the two types of women that I really see um, many of us falling into in our lives, and especially when we are portraying ourselves to men. So I want you to just take a second to really think about where do you fall? And right, it may not be 100% one or the other, right? I totally get it. And there's tons of other character types out there, but I just want to make a very clear distinction here about these two types of different essences, these two different energies that we can put out as women, right? One is this this, it doesn't, she doesn't seem desperate and needy, but deep down she's really desperate and needy, right? And very over leaning forward and over analyzing and over functioning and overthinking, right? Always writing these blog articles about relationships and dating and how it never works out versus the Angelina type that is just poised and confident and so in control and classy and powerful, right? So think about it. When we think about these two different character types, many of us, and even myself, I fell into the Carrie Bradshaw type of, of, of character. And I didn't even realize I was doing that because everywhere else in my, in my life, I wasn't that kind of person, right? In my job world, I was super poised, super confident, super just like in control of everything I was doing. With my friends, I was my goofy, playful self. It wasn't a big deal. Like there was nothing to overthink. I was just being me. Um, with my family, obviously, same kind of thing. But when it came to men, it was like a switch. A switch would turn on and I would just, as soon as I started to think that I liked them, I would turn into this character, right? And give me some thumbs up if this is something that relates or something you can relate to. Um, and it's, it's an icky feeling, right? It's an icky feeling that feels anxious, it feels intense, it feels just like overwhelming. And it doesn't really feel like the real you, but it is part of you, right? And so if you felt this way, it's totally understandable. I totally get it. Um, but it's important to recognize it. So when I was really first diving into all of this relationship coaching material and really learning what it takes to be a high value, high class woman for men to really want to be lured in by and attracted to, it really was this huge mindset shift for me. It was the shift of, oh my gosh, okay, this is no longer about letting that crazy girl side of me come through and much more tapping into this essence of this regal, queenly, Angelina Jolie type of character. And I tell you, as soon as I started learning how to do that specifically, and I'll tell you, it's not easy necessarily. It's all, it's all fun and games, I know, to be thinking about it. But like to really start to retrain your mind and reprogram how you're actually showing up every single day when you have these habits, it takes some practice and some work. But once I really started to gravitate toward that kind of essence, literally, it was so incredible to see the difference. And that is really where... You stop having to doing you stop having to do so much in relationships, right? Everywhere else in your life, you're asked to do, 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 lean forward, hustle, push through it, get to the end, right? Like achieve the goal. And in relationships, this is not the place for that. This is not the place to be overthinking, overanalyzing, and planning and doing. This is the place of really stepping into this place of being. And when I say place of being, I know that can be fluffy and confusing, but I'm really talking about being your own interpretation of this essence of Angelina Jolie, right? Really connecting into this place within you that is just so grounded, so strong, so powerful, so peaceful, so sexy, so alluring, so magnetic that men just can't help but go, who is that, right? And this does not have to be just for the super bombshell, gorgeous Hollywood actresses. I have seen this shift happen with so many of my clients as well. It's so beautiful to see. It's this, it's this knowing, right? It's an essence. It's an energy. 
And more than anything, energy frequency is everything when it comes to relationships. It's always the relationship energetics. So when we can start to shift the way we are showing up and the way we're seeing ourselves on the inside, we retrain the way the rest of the world sees us. And when the rest of the world sees us as that beautiful, magnetic, kind of high value, high class woman, then they can't help but just want to be in our presence and they just can't get enough of us. Right? So that's what I really want to leave you here today. I wrote some other notes. Let me just make sure I'm talking through everything. Um, oh, the number one thing you need to stop doing right now to improve your chances, I would say, I wanted to make sure I talked about this too. What is the number one thing you can do to, to stop doing? And I would say any time that you are getting caught up in your head, any time that you start to feel your heart close, right? You start to cringe, you start to get anxious or excited or wanting to move the relationship forward, I would just say stop, just stop altogether. Just put your hands, sit on your hands, right? Do not text, do not call, do not overthink it. Go distract yourself, do something else. Because when we are in that, that Carrie Bradshaw kind of energy, right? We are sending out subliminal vortexes, these little energy vectors out underneath the surface. Not, you could be totally looking as cool as a cucumber, but if underneath the surface you're feeling anxious or weird or out of alignment with who you are, you are literally sending out subconscious energy vortexes that are basically saying, I don't feel good about myself, right? Or I feel out of alignment with myself. And men pick up on that really, really easily and really quickly. And that's where they go, oh, I don't know, I don't know, right? So that's what I want you to do. That's your one little tidbit for today. I want you to really think about this Angelina Jolie character. I want you to watch some movies and really start to think about and see how she really shows up. And then I want you to just sit on your hands and not try to move any relationships forward, but really start practicing sitting with yourself and connecting more into that essence. And definitely, please let me know how this goes for you. I, I love hearing when people have this kind of shift in mindset because that's really where the rubber hits the road. That's really where the traction comes in for the long term because you start building on this energy and the next thing you know you are really just being her all the time and it makes such different shifts for every area of your life. I had a woman just the other day tell me she's like, Teal, I can't believe it. This energy is not just working with men. It's working with everything in my life. I'm building up better relationships with my family, with my boss. Like, it is just such a powerful, radiant, beautiful energy and, and that's really the essence of what we, and you may be here the term of feminine energy. Like that's really the essence of feminine energy. A lot of times people talk about feminine energy and they think about it as being more of that ditzy, you know, weak, emotional type of woman. And that's not what this is about at all. This is the just the strength, the power, the ooh, just juiciness of being a woman. But being a woman with her strength, with her confidence, with her sexiness in any kind of way that 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 seems best to her, the way she really wants to show up and exude that, you know? So definitely let me know if this hits home for you, if this resonates for you, if you're liking learning about this. Um, I'm really just having a lot of fun building out little mini trainings and just continuing to share all my knowledge and wisdom around this because this is the secret sauce, my babe. This is the secret sauce and I'm giving it away free for you right now and I want you to really know that this is what it takes to really step into that next level of relationships, right? We get to really redefine what it means to be a modern day woman. And that's what I keep wanting to share with each of you, right? Is we get to redefine what this looks like, what this feels like, what this gets to be like. Um, and it's a beautiful time to be alive as women, but we have to make sure we're being intentional about it. We cannot be just falling into the patterns of our past or falling into the fear mentality from past experiences or from our parents or the beliefs from other people. We really need to be intentional about how we're showing up in relationships with men and with everyone in our lives. And only from that place do we really start to shift the outcome of our life. So ah, I hope you have a fabulous, wonderful day and we'll talk soon.
Thanks for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Relaxing to Love podcast. If you are loving what you're hearing, please, I would love for you to write me a heartfelt review. It means so much for the success of this podcast. And honestly, I love hearing what really hits home for your soul and the feedback, really, I read every piece of it. So definitely pop me a love note and share this with a friend. Share this with someone who you know could really use this message today. And let's keep spreading the love. Until next time.